Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be making this food stand here and uh, for this to work I have imported the uh, image into Blender so I can see it in my work view here and I also have an armature for scale because scale is very very important and uh, I have this basic cube which we're going to be making this out of. Okay, I'm going to rename the cube to be food stand or it, it could be called the moon or whatever you want. And in edit mode, I am going to um, drag it up on the Z till it's on the ground axis. And now I'm just going to go through and rescale it to be the appropriate size needed for a cart like this. Okay, and now that I have this looking pretty good, I'm going to select all the top and sides and I'm going to give them a nice rounded bevel to create the nice geometry seen in image. I'm going to go through and add in loop cuts so that I can kind of uh, block out where all the windows and indentations and little doors are going to be. So really look at the image and try and figure out, okay, where do I need a loop cut for this? And where should I be extruding in for windows or uh, anything? So um, I've made a window here and I'm also going to make the little indentation for the beverage uh, dispenser down here. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to select all the edges inside and give them a nice bevel to round it out. I'm going to make the little door off to the side here and I'm going to uh, shift D to duplicate this uh, piece and extrude it out to make uh, the little padlock handle here. So really this whole process is a bunch of pressing shift D to duplicate faces uh, and then beveling and then also insetting and extruding. Those are the main things that we're doing here. Okay, so uh, now that that's done, I'm going to make a uh, little um, shelf in here. And um, once I got that looking nice, I'm going to duplicate it up higher and make the shelf that's in front of the window. I'm going to duplicate the outer edge here and make some little supports for it to make a little kind of railing that goes around to hold the drinks in. So the window was looking a little too small for my liking, so I decided to go in and select the faces here and scale them out. Then I selected the edges and pressed I to inset them to make the little menu areas, and I duplicated a little piece of the window here to make the little uh, window slides that are inside. I made some shelving for the inside of the... Uh, cart and then I went and selected the outer back and side walls and I shift D to duplicate them and I scaled them in a little bit to make an inside wall. Then I inset the top to make the area for the sign. I duplicated some little bits here and extruded them out to make the little light fixtures and I even did like a little awning on the light on the top because it seemed to have that in the picture. Then I duplicated that over again. All right. Uh, I decided to make some cans, so I just uh, beveled a little uh, rectangular solid, basically, and then just duplicated them a bunch of times. And then I made some uh, bottles, which, again, is just a bunch of uh, scaling and extruding. Okay. In the shader editor, um, I loaded in the picture of the food stand, and I plugged that into the principled shader, and I just called it... Uh, food stand or whatever. I don't know what I called it. Um, I cube project everything and you can see it's already starting to look kind of like what we want. Um, and then I went through and I selected the bits that are supposed to be glass and I made a new shader and assigned that to be glass. And I mixed a uh, transparent and a glossy shader together to make the glass texture. I've gone over this before. So if uh, you can watch up on any other video, basically, and I go more into depth into these things. All right. After that, I selected the bits that are supposed to be lights, and I made a new emission shader for them and assigned them to that. And I made the value just a little bit higher than 1, somewhere between, like, 1 and 5 is pretty good. All right. Um, in the UV editor, I cube projected everything again and just lined it up uh, with this little yellow bit. I took the inside face and lined it up with this back gray bit here. 
And uh, then I started out with a top sign by Q projecting it and lining it all up um, with the, this is the original since 1916. Then I did these side menus, and I think you can see where this is going. You just line up the appropriate bit with the part on the image. Cool. I then decided that I wanted to make all these little pieces of paper that are on the window, so I duplicated a little bit and extruded it out and put it in the right spot. And then I assigned it back to the uh, cart texture, and I projected from view to get a perfect straight on view of this and lined it up with the piece of paper. And then I just went through and I duplicated it and kind of repeated the process of projecting from view and then lining it up with the little piece of paper on the window. And there's a few on this side too, so uh, I'll just let that play out, but you get how I did it now. All right, don't forget to select the window frames and assign them to a flat texture so it works. I'm going to select this door here and line it up, and I'm going to select this uh, little bit on the corner here and line that up. After that's good and done, I'm going to select the area where this like A rating thing is, and I'm going to line that up. Cool. I'm going to try and uh, do the little bottom part here, but unfortunately the wheel kind of gets in the way, so I added in a loop cut, and I'm going to try and fix this by selecting the bottom to something else, and I'm going to try and uh, get this as close as I can to the original, but that didn't work, so I had to make some changes, and now it just says ice cold beverages, which is fine. All right, I'm going to select this back little piece here and uh, assign it to a gray background. And then I'm going to select all these cans and I'm going to project them from view and I'm going to line them each up with a can on this front part here. So we have a nice wide range of cans. I'm going to duplicate that a few times and change up the order. Then I'm going to make a new material by uh, duplicating the material I have and making it its own user and making it a bit more metallic so the cans have some uh, metallicness to them. Then I'm going to uh, go through and I'm going to select these little awnings for the lights and make sure those are projected to something. I'm going to unwrap the bottles in the same fashion as I unwrap the cans. So just line them all up and then you can uh, duplicate them a few times and randomize the order and reline them up again if that so pleases you. Make sure that you unwrap the shelves that the bottles and cans are sitting on. And uh, that's basically about it. I'm going to duplicate back one of these lights and line it up on the back wall. And so there's some lighting inside. And um, I might add the uh, specular in here for our image into the base color and mess with the metallic and levels a little bit. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how I did it. Uh, for mine, I do them usually a bit more in depth and uh, a bit more detailed than this, but this was just a real uh, kind of quick way to go through it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and you can download my original one of these on the Patreon. All right, see ya.